So, Fiore, you describe the flavors of monsoon as electrifying. Tell us why you picked it. <laughs> well, a monsoon is, is one of my favorite restaurants. Uh, it just, I've been going there for years, and uh, there's just a combination of textures and flavors and flavor pairings that I never get bored of. If I'm ordering the same thing on the menu, I'm plenty happy. If I'm going down to anything on the menu that I haven't tried, I'm plenty happy. This place just hasn't stopped being fantastic. So what's a must-order item from Monsoon's menu? A, a must-order um, is on Sundays and Mondays, they have a Saigon pepper uh, crab. And um, it's really a perfect example of a chef taking a local iconic ingredient like a Dungeness crab and combining it with something from his or her own kitchen, flavors of his or her own kitchen, and making something that's delightful, unique, and one of a kind. I'm probably not the first person to say that, but it's this, but it's one of the best dishes you're going to have in Seattle. All right, Rob, did you like Monsoon when you went? I looked at the menu, and I don't know from what's an entree, what's, what's an appetizer. Then I ended up, I ordered two appetizers, which was fine. They were good. I had, um, gosh, it was a squash soup, which I wasn't real pleased with. It was a little brothy and like three hunks of squash in it and some shrimp. But the flavor was good. I had the beef carpaccio. And that, it was good, you know. I, nobody told me that I was going to be eating raw beef, but you learn. <laughs> so you just ordered it on a whim? Yeah. How are portions for you? The portions were, you know, I actually didn't walk out of there hungry, so I can't complain. Katie, set the stage. You walk into Monsoon. What were your first impressions? I was shocked at how intimate it was. It's just a very small place, but it actually worked. I felt like I was taken care of, and it just felt like... Um, a small, intimate location. I didn't feel like I was in the middle of the city, which was really nice. We started with the spring rolls, which were this, um, probably the, the low point of the dinner, but everything else was amazing. The spring rolls were just kind of average. I felt like I could have gotten them anywhere, you know, in the international district or something like that. But the pork Mang Mangalista? I Mangalista. Think it, oh my goodness. It was literally the best pork I've ever had in my life. It just was nice. amazing. I've never had any, any pork like that. It was just, I can't wait to go back and try that again. So Mangalista is an heirloom pork variety. This is, I went and looked it up okay. and <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> yeah. And it was amazing. It's a it fattier was just, piece. Yeah, it's nice. And, oh, so good. Did you have any um, standouts when you went on this visit, Puree? The eggplant in the uh, coconut sauce is something that we order all okay. the time and we never get tired of it because the eggplant just turns into uh, this buttery eggplant and it's just accentuated really nicely with the coconut sauce. So you must really be a fan of coconut because you also have a favorite dessert. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I do like coconut. They have a, a, a banana cake. Oh, um, did you have that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the banana cake drizzled with the salted coconut milk is awesome. And it sounds like you had that as I well, Rob. I had that as well. And, you know, I think, I think Jason, my waiter, took pity on me sitting at the bar because there were two pieces of cake on there. <laughs> so, <laughs> and did you like the flavor? Oh, yeah, the flavor was really good. You know, I would never pair coconut, a coconut sauce with a banana bread, but it was really good and salty you know it, it was that interesting mix of salt and sweet that i really enjoyed the umami as they say yeah the <laughs> all the tastes coming together <laughs> what about portion size it was perfect i would say we we finished everything and we left comfortably full what we didn't take anything home and i kind of wish we would have because it was so good <laughs> but we didn't <laughs> what about general um, room ambiance it was nice it, a little small feeling, but, you know, I got over the claustrophobia real fast. The wait staff really made up for it. I love the ambiance at um, Monsoon. When you're on Sleepy 19th and you walk mm -hmm. into this little spot and um, it feels alive, it's bright, and again, with all that brightness, it really comes down to what's on the plate. So, yeah, I think the ambiance works really well. Yeah, I'd have yeah. to say I'd come back in the summertime when you can sit outside. Yeah, I actually thought mm -hmm. that, too. On the patio, yeah. it looks yeah. really nice. All right, Fiori, well, this was your pick for favorite restaurant. Why don't you sum it up for us? Monsoon's always had and always, it seemingly always will have very fresh flavors, 
and you'll be surprised at the end of the day, relatively speaking, it's a very good value compared to everything else on the hill and around town. Mm -hmm. How about you, Rob? Well, you know, I would say, I would, like I would said, I would go back in the summertime when you can sit on the patio. It seems like a nice place to just sit and watch people. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And Katie, your thoughts? Um, I'm already planning my next trip to this place, <laughs> so um, I really enjoyed it, and I think it'll be a, a staple for my husband and I. All right. Well, you can try the electrifying flavors for yourself at Monsoon, 615 19th Avenue East in Seattle. It's 206-325-2111. Open Monday through Friday for lunch and dinner, and they offer a dim sum brunch and dinner on the weekends. Reservations are accepted.